My name is Justin and I'm going to be working with you in the option trading simulation. We need to think about what the fair value of this option is. You've been asked to come up with a bid price, a price you're prepared to buy at, and an ask price of a price that you are prepared to sell for. In order to do that, you're going to need some information. Now, let's get into that and see what information you need. Well, firstly, you're going to need some information about the option itself. What is the underlying asset? In this case, it's an equity called MDA Inc. What is the strike price? In this case, it's 100. We have the right to buy. It's a call option for 100. And what is the term? Well, it's four years. We also need some information from the market. MDA Inc. is currently trading at a price of 100. So this is an at the money option. And to price an option, you need to make some assumptions about the probability distribution for future returns and prices. And we are assuming that that distribution is uniform anywhere from minus 10% to plus 10% each year. So what do I mean by that? Any price really between 90 and 110 is equally likely in the first year. Then you're going to need a model. And the model that we're going to use is a binomial model. This will give us a rough estimate as to the fair value of the option. This is the way that it works. You start with the current price for the asset, which is 100. You then make an assumption about where that price will go, if it goes up or if it goes down. If it goes up, it can go up anywhere between 0% and 10%. On average, 5%. If it goes down, it can go down anywhere between 0% and 10%, on average 5%. So we end up with two possible prices for the first year. And then we continue to work for year two, year three, and year four, and we end up with a distribution of possible future prices for when the option matures. Next, we work out the payoff for each of those possibilities. If the price goes to 120, the payoff is 20. We can buy the stock for 100, uh, it's worth 120, our gain is 20. If the stock goes to 110 and we can buy it for 100, we make a profit of 10. If the stock stays at around 100, we don't make a profit or a loss. And if the stock price falls, we simply do not exercise the option. Next, we need to think about how likely is each of those scenarios. How likely is the stock price to go up each year for four years? Well, you might realize there's 16 possible parts. Two times two times two times two. That's 16. And only one of those leads to the price of 120. So we've got a one in 16 chance of hitting that maximum price. Four out of the 16 paths lead to 110. So we've got a four in 16 chance of hitting 110 and making a profit of 10. Six of the paths lead to 100, and the other paths lead to either 90 or 80, where we wouldn't exercise the option. Finally, we can work out the expected payoff. How much would we make on average if we own this option? Well, one out of 16 times we make 20, that's worth 125. Four times in 16 we'd make 10, that's worth 250. And then in every other scenario, we make zero. So on average, we make 375. So if we were buying this option, we would want to make sure that we bought it for less than 375, the average profit that we'd make by owning it. If we sold this option, the person that we sold it to would on average make 375 from us. So we want to make sure our ask price is higher than 375 and our bid is a little bit lower than 375. Now you can improve on this model. One weakness is that I have gone up and down by five rather than 5% each time. If it went up by 5% and then by another 5%, you might realize that's slightly more than 110. You could also use different styles of model if you wanted to. You could investigate Black Shoals. There are some models like that online that you could use. You could try and build a Monte Carlo simulation where you simulate thousands or even millions of possible 
future scenarios and work out the average payoff. But we've got a starting point. If we're somewhere close to 375 for the value of our option, we haven't gone too far wrong. So I hope that is useful for you and I wish you the best of luck in round one and the following rounds in the option trading sim.